We used to be number 10. Now we permanent in one. Welcome back to another installment of Hip Hops with the Home Brews. And today we have Opaque Thoughts. Opaque Thoughts comes from Mountains Walking Brewery. Mountains Walking Brewing. Brewery. So Opaque Thoughts is an IPA with pink guava. It's a pink guava milkshake double IPA with vanilla and lactose. So, without further ado, on to the brew. Always a good time with guava. Yeah. I forgot to roll this one, too. Why is that not? I'm going straight for it. I'm going in. An IPA, the milkshake double IPA with vanilla and lactose. And right away, I smell the guava. You smell the hops. I'm going to get right into this one. All right. So, really hoppy. It's an IPA for sure. Um, maybe a little bit in the vanilla lactose. The vanilla and the lactose come through a little bit, but I'm really not getting a lot of guava. What about you? And all this funky stuff that's going on in there? Yeah, I see it. Mm. Looks like an orbs. Remember those drinks? Yeah, I remember those. <laughs> but yeah, back to the brew business. Um, not much of the guava. I do smell the vanilla, right? Vanilla. Yeah. Lactose. How much of the guava get the vanilla? This is an IPA, right? Mm-hmm. Um, mm. I'm wishing I got a little bit more pink guava in this one, honestly. Yeah. So, this out of their seasonal series, uh, Opaque Thoughts. I've had a few from uh, Mountain Walking Brewery, but um, I don't know if this is my favorite IPA. What about you? Now, you said it's a seasonal series. We're talking about as far as the seasons, the four seasons. You don't know? You don't uh, sure? I don't know. I mean, it just says it says all the seasons on the can. I mean, it's good year round. Yeah. So it, where's the guava? Yeah. It's uh, 8% ABV. Uh-huh. So it's not a weak beer. It's not weak. But I'm wishing it had some more flavor in it. It's smooth for an, for an 8%. Not terrible. But I just think it's uh, maybe lacking in a little bit of the flavor yeah. that it says... On the can. Definitely, so. definitely. It's, it's, it's lacking. I wouldn't say it's a disappointing beer. It's it's average at best. Yeah. And there's room for improvement. Yeah. So with that, I think I'm ready to grade it. What do you got for it? Um, let's see, I gave it a three. I mean, it's pretty average, but not terrible. Yeah. I mean, if you're into IPAs, go ahead and pick this up. But just don't expect a ton of that guava flavor. That lactose, I think, would add adds a bit of the smoothness, a bit of that vanilla, adds some balance to it. But like I said, just not any of the guava flavor, I would say. I mean, the name is interesting, Opaque Thoughts. Um, the pink guava, I think it's slightly missing. And for an IPA, and I'm the IPA guy, like I said, at best, this is like, it's average, so I'm also giving it a three as yeah. well. Yeah. You getting anything else from it on, you know, a second? I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. I mean, maybe a little bit of the guava aftertaste, I want to say. I'm trying hard, though. Yeah. I mean, it's not I mean, bad at all. It's not bad. It's cool. Yeah. It's all right. It's okay. It's a refreshing brew that says it can be enjoyed, you know, all season long. So that's winter, spring, summer, and fall. So with that said, we're skipping right along to the beats portion of the show. And for this one, I think because there, there needs to be improvement, you always got to keep evolving and keep doing better. I'm going to give this one to Mob Deep, Survival of the Fittest. Only the strong survive. So they got to make this stronger, man. Figure yeah. it out. Yeah. If this if this is gonna survive, it has to come back proper and fit. Yeah. So 
Mob Deep's Survival of the Fittest. Yeah, that's not a bad one, right? That's a classic. Classic. Great song. Yeah. And there's room for this to also become a classic brew. Yeah. So if you want to try this one, we grab ours from Tavour. Uh, not a paid sponsor, but you can use that link in the comment section. And uh, if you use that link, we get $10 off our next crate. If you go ahead and share that link with somebody and they use it, you get $10 off of your next crate from Tavour. And just keep the cycle going. And make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment down below. If you've tried this brew, let us know how you feel about it. Go ahead and grade it there. Uh, go ahead and smash that like button. And I don't think there's anything else to say about this one, man. Nothing left to do but knock down this brew. Yeah, man. So I think that's last call. Just about all tapped out. Well, that's it for this one. But make sure you check us out with that next brew that we review. Thanks for making it to Last Call. To see more brews, tap that like button. Subscribe and tap the notification to know when the next brew drops. Comment below. Let us know if you tried this brew and maybe suggest some more. Share with a wingman. It helps us grow our channel. So we can continue to bring you the next brew that we review.